so what is this statement the mo most important statement to explain electron configuration of chromium and copper type of elements those atoms in which the orbitals are half filled with electrons are completely filled with electrons are more stable so to overcome this what is the expected electron configuration for chromium the atomic number or chromium uh, atomic number of chromium is 24 we can write valency shell or complete electron configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 3d 10 sorry 3d 5 4s 1 but what is the expected valency shell electron configuration of chromium is 3d4 4s2 as per the general phenomena the chromium have to be with 3d4 4s2 electron configuration but the identified and actual electron configuration that would be exhibited by chromium is 3d5 4s1 why because the energy difference between 3d orbital and 4s orbital energy difference energy difference between 3d orbital and 4s orbital is very less is very less due to less energy gap between 3d orbital and 4 4s orbital one electron from 4s orbital jumps from 4s to 3d orbital then the resulting electron configuration would be 3d 5 4s 1 in which d orbital is half filled with five electrons like this so as per this statement due to 3d 5 4s 1 electron configuration the chromium will exhibit stable stability whereas in case of copper the expected valency shell electron configuration must be 3d 9 4s 2 but the identified electron configuration is 3d 10 4s 1 again the same concept due to energy less energy difference between 3d orbital and 4s orbital to get the stability one electron from 4s orbital jumps from s orbital to d orbital hence the uh, present copper electron configuration is 3d10 for s1 which can provide additional stability to copper and next come to this when compared to remaining what are remaining zinc cadmium mercury okay zinc cadmium mercury while we are going to observe the electron configuration valency shell electron configuration of these elements they show 3d 10 4s2 for zinc 4d 10 5s2 for cadmium 5d 10 6s2 for mercury these results us means especially in case of zinc cadmium mercury these elements in their atomic state or ionic state having completely filled d orbitals generally ex exhibited oxidation state by zinc cadmium mercury are plus 2 only always the loss of electrons to provide ions takes place from valency orbit the valency orbit e here is 4 5 6 in case of respected respected zinc cadmium mercury so this is the reason why always in case of zinc always the loss of electron takes place from 4s orbital but not from 3d orbital to exhibit plus 2 oxidation state so in whatever in atomic state or ionic state zinc cadmium mercury are with filled completely filled d orbital this is the reason why these are not these are not transition these are not transition metals or transition elements so what is the definition we can provide for transition metals the most important statement transition metals are d block elements but all d block elements are not transition metals 
only the reason which metals or which elements are considered as transition elements which d block elements are considered as transition elements only those elements in their atomic or ionic form having minimum of one lone pair electron would be considered as transition metals but in case of zinc cadmium mercury in their atomic or ionic state they are with completely filled d orbitals hence except these elements remaining all d block elements are called as transition metals but as a part in d block elements the properties of zinc cadmium mercury are also included under a side heading or main heading of transition metals that means we are going to study the properties of zinc cadmium mercury even under transition metal but they are not transition metals or transition elements they are d block elements so once again what is the difference between d block elements and transition elements all d block elements are not transition elements but all transition elements are d block elements due to completely filled d orbital in zinc cadmium mercury they are not transition elements but they are d block elements so this is about electron configuration of d block elements next one physical properties physical properties of physical properties of transition metals so let us learn as i told you just now all these elements belongs to this category are metals all the elements belongs to this category are metals they show metallic character what are metallic character means so as i just told you ductility malleability metal lustre as well as they are used as conductors for thermal and electrical purposes so this is the case all the d block elements are with less volatile character they are with less vol volatility and here having high melting and boiling points they are with high melting and boiling points